Hello friends. Welcome to Tech Talks Engineered Channel. Today we will discuss about Surge Arrestor, also called as Surge Diverter or Lightning Arrestor LA, used in electrical substation. We will see working principle and function of Surge Arrestor. Also we will see its assembly, means the internal elements of Surge Arrestor. The most important point, we will see how earthing of Surge Arrestor is done. First of all let's start with identification of surge arrestor components. This is surge arrestor. This is gradient ring. This is line terminal, connected to phase lift terminal. Porcelain housing containing ZNO column inside. This is a ZNO piece means a zinc oxide piece. This is surge arrestor ground terminal. And this is body earthing point. Here on the structure surge arrestor counter is mounted. We will see function and basics of all these mentioned components such as gradient ring, surge arrestor counter etc. one by one. First of all let's start with function of surge arrestor. As name suggests function of surge arrestor is to divert abnormal high voltage to ground, cause to lightning phenomena or switching operations, without affecting continuity of supply. Thus it saves electrical equipment from any possible damage due to high voltage surges. Basic difference between lightning arrestor and surge arrestor is that, lightning arrestor diverts only lightning surges, whereas surge arrestor diverts lightning as well as switching surges. Now let's see working principle and assembly of internal parts surge arrestor. Surge arrestors are connected between phase and ground terminals. If we cut open any surge arrestor we can see the line terminal. This is connected to phase lift terminal and this bottom terminal is connected to ground. We can see a column of ZNO pieces inside, which plays important role in LA working. This is single ZNO piece. If we look at zinc oxide characteristics, it offers relatively high resistance at low voltage level. And very low resistance at high voltage level. Hence whenever high voltage surge occurs, Surge arrestor offers least resistance path and current flows through surge arrestor to ground, avoiding any other path. Hence all other equipment such as transformers do not experience high voltage surge. As in picture we can see top flange. Coil spring to put pressure on and hold tights the ZNO column. FRP tube and FRP rod are used to improve mechanical strength and insulation property of surge arrestor. FRP means fiber reinforced plastic. Silica gel is used to keep internal parts of surge arrestor dry. Spacer tube is used to get desired height of surge arrestor. Bottom flange. Bottom pressure relief plate. This plate burst out in case of surge arrestor burst and releases the pressure out. And base plate. So this is complete assembly of surge arrestor. Now let's go back to function of gradient ring. Why do we use gradient ring in surge arrestor? You must have observed that gradient ring is used only in high rating surge arrestor which are relatively taller. Reason is that every ZNO element stacked inside arrestor has its own capacitance. As shown in the diagram C is ZNO's own capacitance. That mean capacitance C is formed inside one ZNO element. But this ZNO element forms capacitance with another ZNO element and also with ground. As we can see in the diagram along with its own capacitance C, ZNO forms capacitance with other ZNO pieces and with ground shown as C1, C2 and so on. This type of capacitance with other ZNO elements in ground is called a stray capacitance. This stray capacitance value is negligible as compared to ZNO's own capacitance in case of short length surge arrestor. Hence voltage distribution is uniform across surge arrestor. In case of long length surge arrestor stray capacitance is significant as compared to ZNO's own capacitance. Hence voltage distribution is not uniform and is very high at top as compared to bottom. Here we can see without gradient ring, V1 is greater than V2 and so on. This may lead to maloperation of surge arrestor. Hence gradient ring is used to get uniform voltage distribution across surge arrestor. Here with gradient ring voltages V1, V2 and so on are equal. Hence uniform voltage distribution is achieved. If we look carefully we can see a counter and leakage current meter. This counter displays number of surge arrestors operations. 
and leakage current meter shows leakage current through surge arrestor in real time. An increase in leakage current level indicates abnormality in surge arrestor. Now most important, earthing of surge arrestor. Usually we earth body of all the electrical equipment. But in the case of surge arrestor two separate earthings are required. One body earthing and second ground terminal earthing. This ground terminal is the point through which surge arrestor passes current to ground. Hence separate and solid earthing is required for this terminal. Else surge arrestor will not be able to pass surges to earth causing abnormalities in function. This may lead to damage of subsequent electrical equipment. Hence surge arrestor earthing is very important. So guys this is all about surge arrestor also called as lighting arrestor. Hope you liked the video. If yes please hit the like button. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.